Let's level up your resistance sprints and your speed training, teaching you how to make your own velocity decrement calculator. And really all it is, is five cells, but the things in yellow you type in, you select beforehand, and really just two formulas. And one of these is already pretty simple. So one kind of fancy formula, it's really not that fancy, but giving you your own tool to level up your resisted sprints. So in this video, I'm gonna go through the background, the logic of why this all makes sense. I'm gonna go through how to do all five of these and why they are how they are, but delete. And then lastly, I'll get into some nuances, kind of like how this looks in real life. So let's do it. So first, if we know time and distance, we have velocity, right? So we have seconds, we have yards, and we velocity yards per second. Okay, deal? Next, if we know velocity, yards per second, and we have a VDEC, which is a percent, then we have a goal velocity. So VDEC, velocity decrement, how much slower the resistance makes you. So if you want a 10% VDEC, well, then you will be sprinting at 90% of your speed. So if I am at 10 yards per second, and I'm at 50% VDEC, well, then my goal velocity is going to be five yards per second. Okay. If I'm at 10 yards per second, and my VDEC is 10%, so the resistance makes you 10% slower, well, you should be running at 90% of that velocity or a 10% VDEC of 10 yards would be nine yards per second. And last, if we know a goal velocity based on what VDEC we want to run at, so let's say nine yards per second, and we know how long these sprints are going to happen, 20 yards, well, then the yards cancel out and then we're left with seconds. And the seconds are consequently what helps you pick the load the weight on the sled, the weight of whatever, whatever resistance you're using to get that velocity decrement and consequently your desired training and training result over time. So that's the background. So you can make this in your own Excel sheet, literally do the same thing, distance time, VLO, VDEC, and goal time. So distance, let's say we're doing 10 yard sprints, time, Let's say it takes us 1.5 seconds. And velocity decrement, let's do 50% velocity decrement. So these are general. So if you look up here, this is what the, the cell is saying this is, general. So the only one that really matters is percentage. You have to make sure that this is a percentage, this one right here, and you'll see why in a second. So velocity, very, very simple. So this is yards, this is seconds. This is yards per second, this is a percent, and this is seconds. So velocity, so equals distance, click on that, divided by seconds. Oh my gosh, look, you're doing high level Excel. And if you're OCD like me, these buttons right here help you control how many significant figures there are. So I like two for this. And same thing with um, the percentage, because it's always a round number. So I like there being no, no decimals. All right, so you're four-fifths of the way there. Congrats, listener. So this is why this is important that this is a percentage. So a percentage in Excel, this is really spitting out, or this really means 0.5. 50% really means 0.5 to Excel. It just looks like a percentage because you said look like a percentage, okay? So my goal time, and you can type this in literally just as I'm typing it in, okay? Two parentheses you'll see in a second. One minus, and then click on the VDEC. So remember, the VDEC is how much slower it makes you. So 10% slower means run at 90%, right? So one minus 50% is gonna spit back 50%, perfect. So if this was, not, if this was a 10% VDEC right here, well, one minus 10%, well, this would spit back 90, which is what we want. So one minus, and then click on the VDEC and then close that parenthesis times, and then the velocity, close it again. So that's why we did the double parentheses at the beginning. 
one minus what percent do I really want to be running at, right? VDAC versus what you want to actually run at. So one minus the VDAC to give me what I really want to run at, what percent of the unresisted velocity or the one you got from the timed sprint at the beginning, okay? And this makes sense. Right now it is spitting back a velocity and it is half of this, okay? But I need this to be in seconds. This is currently in yards per second. So if I simply just divide it by the distance, it's not gonna give me an accurate number. Okay, my goal time is not 0.3 seconds. Why is that? Because yards per second is on the bottom of the denominator. So what we could do is simply just divide everything by one. So I'll do it. I'll do it right here. So one divided by, and then let's put the entire denominator in a parenthesis, just so Excel knows all of that is together and then hit enter and boom, 1.5 seconds. If, it, if you're running half as fast, it should take you twice as long. That makes sense. But let's just make this a, a little cleaner. Let's simply just do, let's simply just do, click on the distance divided by, and then double parenthesis, one minus VDEC multiplied by actual velocity end parenthesis, enter, boom, I got three seconds. So you can also guess and check. So that's a super simple way to guess and check. 50% should take you double, okay? But let's say we're going 20 yards, takes you three seconds. And you wanna go 10% velocity decrement, right? So 10% slower, you know, three times another 10%, 3.3, makes sense, okay? So that's really all it is. You select the distance, you, so you time a certain distance sprint that gives you the velocity, then you select what velocity decrement you want, and literally just type those however many keystrokes that is, and that is your formula. And then all you got to do is say, hey, I timed this athlete, took them that long, and for training, let's do 25%, boom. All of your 15-yard sprints should take you 2.4 seconds. So now, some quick nuances. You still have to pick the velocity decrement. You still have to write the training program. You have to coach the training program and all of that. This just helps you not guess. This takes out the guessing, right? So instead of saying, oh, this is going to be our very heavy resistance for these four weeks, well, very heavy usually means 50%. And are you actually doing that, right? Instead of picking a weight that you think looks challenging and the athletes say is heavy, well, just know for a fact that it's actually 50% with this Excel sheet. The goal time is specific to what you tested. So here's an example. So where I currently coach at TC Boost Sports Performance, our main acceleration test is a timed 515. So think about you're on the zero yard line, there's a laser at the five yard line, and there's a laser at the 15 yard line. So it's a 15 yard acceleration. You're just timed from yards five to 15. Okay, laser at 5 and 15. So if I type this in, you know, 10 yards, a very fast 5.15, not above average speed, it's okay, would be 1.3, okay? And if I want to do 50% velocity decrement, so that's saying when I do a 5.15, the 5.15 should read 2.6 seconds. So the goal time, because I tested the 5.15, the goal time of the 515 in training, that's what the goal time is, okay? So pick how you want to train first and then work backwards from there. So if you're a stopwatch person, you time them from yard zero to yard whatever, well, that's the goal time would be your stopwatch from yard zero to yard whatever. If you have lasers that you can time from zero to whatever, then that's your goal time. If you do it like we do it with a five yard before the laser, well, then the 515 is the goal time. And last, it'll take some guess and check to pick the right weight, the right weights. But just like anything else, this is a skill. So you as a coach, the you know, the one, two, three weeks where you're kind of learning, guessing, checking, getting feedback from your athletes, yeah, it's gonna be a little clunky. But 
you know, I've done over probably 200 profiles on the 1080 Sprint. I can guess someone's numbers for 10%, 25%, 50, because I've done so much. So the more you do this, the better you get, the more efficient, the less clunky. So dive in. Literally, this is you type on your own. That's you type on your own. This is very simple. Make sure that's a percentage. And then literally just retype that verbatim and then go from there. So happy sprinting.